Now, Nigerian troops and police have tightened security in Lagos and the capital Abuja as nationwide protests over the rising cost of living kicked off and are expected to continue for 10 days. Africa's most populous country is struggling with soaring inflation and a sharply devalued Naira currency after President Bolani Ahmed Tinubu introduced reforms a year ago aimed at reviving the economy. Tagged Hashtag end bad governance Nigeria. The protest movement has won support with an online campaign among Nigerians who are battling with food inflation at 40% and fuel prices that have tripled since Tinubu introduced his reforms. Ayo Charles is a journalist at Megaletrix uh, Media in Lagos State and he joins us now via phone. Ayo, thank you so much for connecting with us. Now, on the first day of this end bad governance um, protest, what is the current state of the protest? Okay, thank you very much. Um, the, uh, the protest currently is going on at Ojota here in Lagos, Nigeria. Some other protesters, the full government and some agitating against the government, started from the state capital in Ikeja here in Lagos, and most of them are now converged here. We have a different slogan of end hunger, uh, end bad governance, uh, remove, uh, bring back first of the government can franchise us from this process. I, uh, I know you are at the protest grounds, but we are getting some interference in uh, the connection. So could you reposition and then speak to us before you move? Okay. Definitely, we are having a very cloudy environment. Maybe the weather is really cooperating with us because it's not raining and it's not uh, the sun is not shining. Mm. But again, the youth are all out. Clamoring for a good governance, clamoring for a better life, clamoring to end up, especially in the country, because it's, uh, the situation is getting bad. And the youth this afternoon, just a few minutes ago, had uh, a, a gyration rally where they were shouting, Sinubu only, uh, Jagaban only, uh, APT only. Those are the slogans they've been chanting. And what does this only now. mean? Okay, the only story because that's uh, your last slogan for thief. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. So these are what they've been really chanting, and it's not really quite been easy yet. So we have the security personnel not left out. They, 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 they are really on ground. The Nigerian police, the Department of State Security Service, the Nigerian Intelligence Agency. We have the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense right. Corps. They are all been civil, and even the Commissioner of Police of Lagos State. Okay. It's, uh, okay. Nigerians are trooping out in their numbers today across the country to express their desire to end bad governance in Nigeria. In the north, the turnout is massive. In Bonu State, protesters are already chanting Bamaso, which means they don't want, they don't want anymore. That's why they are throwing tear gas at them. And don't let anyone push down narrative that the North didn't do anything during Buhari's time, that they never protested, they never participated in the NSARS, they simply found their voice after just one year of a Southern president, blah blah blah. No, the circumstances are not the same.
If Buhari increased petrol price like Tinubu did, his own Katsina indigens will revolt against him. The circumstances are different. Let no one push that narrative or help people to deceive others. The hunger now is raised to power 10 compared to what it was when Buhari was there. The true Nigerians are peacemakers. The true Nigerians are men and women that desire to see that the welfare of one another is taken care of. Like I was saying, I came in Nigeria before light goes off. The Nigerian Electric Power Authority will make an announcement on the media that there will be light. The light will go off in five minutes and in less than two minutes, light will be restored. No one is after the people in power. Many people have moved on after the elections. What is uniting people today is hunger. That's why if you truly want a country that works, you must unite with people who have the same objective like you. No need pointing fingers and saying, ah, you did this, you did that because of your past, I will not work with you. No, you are working against yourself by doing so. So everyone must unite. All people of like minds must unite to get that good governance. When that objective is achieved, you can now say, ah, this particular person, you cannot take power. The power should go to this person because he's more competent. This, that. You now sort out who will go to power, assuming it reaches to that extent. Now, let's see a funny thing that happened on live television. As the AIT correspondent was asking someone, this guy is part of the people that are protesting against the protest. He started crying, lamenting the hardship and hunger in the land. Let's take a listen. Drink Gary now. One thousand will not take you of drinking Gary. What you say before, before, hundred naira, you will drink Gary and do what you want to do. So now, we are, we are coming to make him to know that things are very hard with us. Let him consider us. Thank you. So, um, we're also going to be talking to one of um, the protesters who would also... So, it's very obvious. This guy is motivated by money. He doesn't believe in the no protest protest. They are just there for the peanuts that they will receive from these people. Just like we saw yesterday, women that were shouting that Tinubu and the people that hired them didn't pay them money, that they didn't give them water, nothing. They just left them stranded. Many people are just motivated by money. They know the truth that Nigerians are suffering today more than they have never suffered in their lives. The cause of this protest is my governance. The cause of this protest is hunger in the land. The cause of this protest is corruption in the land. The cause of this protest is the fact that our leaders have let us down. The cause of this protest is that Nigerians are hungry and they are angry. We are hungry and we are angry. Our common resources have been wasted by those who put in authority. And so, Nigerians have taken the faith in their own hands. And we're saying enough is enough. They say we are faceless, but we're not faceless. These are our faces. We, are, we, we were with them, we were with them in the past. We were with them. Ashwaju was a lead protester. Ashwaju was number one protester in this country. Maybe you don't know. When he said a miloko, a miloko is a language of protest. Yeah. It's a language of give it to me. It's my turn. It's a language of protest. So the number one protester should not be against protesters. And what we're saying is this. The courts have said something that we should be converged at somewhere. But Nigeria is too big for Ojota or Ketu to contain us. We are peaceful and we remain peaceful. I need to join the protest to rescue this country because this country is drifting. We are losing it. And uh, it's high time we all come together and save, and save this country. We 
we put some people there. We voted for them for, for, for better living. Have we seen that be better living? That we are suffering. It's not, it's, not, it's not that we are exaggerating. You can go to market and see what I'm talking about. Are you getting me? Okay, they have approved 70,000 minimum wage. When that minimum wage was about 18,000 in 2015, a, a bag of rice was about 6,500 naira. Then you are paying 70,000 now. Then that bag of rice is about 85,000. What, what are we talking about? You see, things are very hard. People are really suffering. If you are living by your means, you will not survive in this country. People are cutting corners. Only anybody you see that is enjoying in this country is cutting corners. That's the fact of it. If you are, if you are living by your, by, by, by your salary, by your salary, you will not enjoy this country because things are very, very expensive. Now, protesters at the National Stadium in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, have disagreed with the FCT Commissioner of Police, Ben Igwe, over the move to restrict the protesters to only inside the National Stadium. Now, while protesters gathered at the entrance of the stadium, displaying placards and chanting about Onga, Igwe insisted that the protesters must respect court orders regarding the protests. We have a court judgment on court ruling, court order on subsistence service, which the barrister, barrister Deja Deyanju is leading them, is aware of. The subsistence service said that the order is that they should protest inside the stadium. And we requested that each group that we, that we protest has to come to the police and notify the police. No group has notified the police. We only came here to see some people here and we said for the fact you have not notified us and they want to protest, follow the court order, which the Jade and the barrister is aware. The order said, protest inside the stadium. We are not stopping anybody from protesting, but look at how they are blocking the express road. And I said no, because where their right stops is where another man's own stops. Because as they are infringing into the right of way of people, it's not good. They are equally tramping on other people's rights on passage. And that's why I said no. They should enter the stadium where the court has given order that they should enter inside. They should carry their 1,000 pressmen and enter the stadium and protest. They can transmit it to 2,000 world press. I don't care. It's not me that gave the ruling. It's court order. So what? So if, 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 they want, if they want to breach the court order, they will. Breach, they are breaching the court order. It's not my order. It's not the order of the inspector general police. It's not the order of anybody. It's the order of uh, a constituted authority of the of the court. So. Uh, if they, if so they are doing it, if they are doing it against do? court order, they know they are equally disobeying. So the what are the order. consequences? They should know the consequences. The barrister is here. You don't know the consequences? The barrister is here. He knows the consequences of but disobeying court order. The protesters are, are, are there. The, the protesters are at the stadium. Are we not in the national stadium? We are there. The court order says national stadium. They have refused to allow us to go to Igbo Square. We say we will not confront no, them. No, what the police commissioner is saying that inside uh, the no, national stadium. No, the court, the court order said stadium, national stadium. That's what the court order say. Can man die? Can man bury him? You understand? Can man die? Can man? Is a can man? I must say can man. So he has spoken to you now as the commissioner of police in Abuja. Are you willing to? Are we not complying? Are we not at the stadium? Are we yeah, at Igu Square? Okay, but if he insists, my big brother. If he insists that you should move into the national stadium... Yeah, then they have to carry us you, in. Yes, I've got to speak as the lawyer. I've advised the protesters. I said, listen, if no matter how uncomfortable you are with a positive court order, whether it is interim, interlocutory, or perpetual, you must try to comply. You mu the, the law must see you taking steps to comply. You can see that People kept, but protesters called me as early as 5 a.m. this morning and said they're going to stop the, the Igu Square. And I advised them that they should not go there. That they should not go to the Igu Square because if they do that, they'll be disobeying the court order. You see, because we're in the stadium, we are within the ambit of the law complying with the positive order of the court because we're in the, we're in the vicinity of the national stadium. Do you understand? We are not in the three arm zone. That is why, you see, my appeal before the CP came, you see how peaceful and serene the place was. But to the CP's presence, the atmosphere is charged. So my appeal to my bigger, big brother is that you should not take steps that will make the protest degenerate. <laughs> Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
Now, let's take a tour around the country. The turnout has been moderate around the south in Lagos, in Delta, in Bayelsa, Benin, many cities in the south, there has been a sizable turnout of people demanding for good governance.
kada irin halin da ake cikin zaka amma ta ma da yawa sun fitfito da sauransu za ku ji mu